Hey guys, Silence Yao here. Welcome back to another episode of Uta Mekra's Gacha videos. And this time round, we are at the last Gacha for the month, and it belongs to Melane, of course, the last member of the Fire Bomber crew. Well, at least the singing pair. Because, <laughs> like I said in the last video, uh, there is actually a few more members of Fire Bomber. I'm sure you Macross 7 fans will definitely know who they are. But sadly to say, Uta Macross only features those who actually sing, which is kind of a sad thing. <laughs> but you know, um, at least at least DNA or Dana um, features the other two members <laughs> through the illustrations of their episode plates. Uh, at least they are not totally forgotten. But it would be nice to see them at least in a live performance in the future just like Milane's bass which a lot of fans made a lot of noise about um, when Milane was first introduced into the game and then she was just dancing around without her bass. Uh, her iconic bass just like Basara's iconic guitar so hopefully in the future hopefully we will get to see uh, we feed us and uh, you know <laughs> okay um, don't judge me I completely forgot the other member's name <laughs> but anyway uh, let's move along we're gonna talk about Milane's brand new episode plate and why this illustration is just super hilarious so as you can tell uh, Milane is wearing her big sister's costume <laughs> If you guys have already seen the preview um, on Uta Macross official Twitter, you know, when Basara performs in his brand new costume, you know, you get to see Milane's big sister just like in the OVA slash movie, um, you know, when Basara performs with her big sister. She wears the exact same costume, just that she's in the Zentra size. Um, so I don't know, maybe if Melane is is put into that um, that song uh, in her brand new costume, maybe, you know, she replaces the position of her big sister, or I don't know, maybe if she does perform, you know, as she is in her brand new costume, I don't know, will something happen to the big sister? Hmm, let's find out. Uh, by trying to attain the new costume for Milane, because I don't know, and Basara's luck is definitely, um, hopefully, still around <laughs> from the last video. Alright, so total score 3883 total. Um, surprisingly enough, this episode play focuses on voice. So, does that mean um, the current song? actually just needs point from both charm and voice hmm. considering that Basara's episode plate does feature more on charm so that's pretty strange oh wow okay so take note this episode plate can only be used by Milane oh no that's not a good thing okay so center skill unit's life is improved by 40% up Meh, still a pretty meh <laughs> I mean center skill because considering that if you do have like I said in the last video um, if you do have an episode, uh, episode plate that is 7 star uh, and it's of course the star or voice or you know yellow series episode plate uh, it would definitely be better choice compared to this episode plate let's move on Active skill, life recovery of 30%. That's just sad. Because, as usual, um, the highest recovery is 50% on any 6 star episode plate. We have yet to see a 7 star episode plate that actually will have a different skill other than the high score achieving ability. But, anyways, life skill, there it is. The main reason why this episode plate can only be used by Milane. Um, at the start of 30 seconds, um, for 7 seconds, 
your score is boosted by 100% up. So it's, it's, it's just a score repeat ability. Um, you know, it just reactivates every after every 30 seconds. You know, so 100% boost in score is definitely very good. Um, but sadly to say, it's not usable by any other diva. So that's kind of a bummer. Alright, moving along. The only other page that might save this episode plate from damnation <laughs> is not there. <laughs> so, is this plate actually worth your singing stones? I would highly say no. Uh, unless, of course, you're a Melane fanboy or fangirl. Um, no discriminations between the sexes. I mean, after all, you can be any gender and you can like any character of any gender. It's the norm since forever. But, you know. Alright, so... Is, is this plate actually very worthwhile? Not really. I mean, considering that it's not the highest total score out there. And it can only be used by one single diva. So... And, yeah. just, just trying to get the costume out of this gacha is definitely the main priority this time round. Getting Melane's episode plate is just kind of a bonus, but still not a very fantastic bonus. <laughs> Alright, so let's get down to the nitty gritty of the main video. Let's start with the usual free daily pools. I mean free, well, specified gacha pool. And daily pool later. Okay. Oh dear. So it seems like Basara drained all the luck. Who knows? Not seeing Valkyries is not the end of the world. Just gotta see how rare this common episode play is. Oh! Are we moving into a new trend? <laughs> Both Basara and Milane's videos start off with a plate that actually gives me the points for the new costume. I'm, I'm happy. I mean, it's there's no Valkyrie animation, but still, this result is more than enough to actually allow me to save Singing Stones. But sadly to say, uh, here I am, a YouTuber, I'm here to entertain. <laughs> so yes, you guys get to watch me toss away my Singing Stones and not allow myself to save. I'm sad. <laughs> but it's okay, it's, it's nice, it's nice to bring smiles to you guys' faces, especially when I put myself into despair or happiness for your sake. So <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so even the free daily pool is proceeding with the trend of no Valkyries. But still, like I said, we had to see how rare the common episode play is. Oh, this is a play that I don't see often. Yeah, looking at the numbers, it's still within the rare zone of occurrence. So, hmm, maybe we might pull out Milane's exclusive plate. Oh well. Even if we don't, we have already met the basic criteria of getting well, costume points to unlock Milane's costume through, you know, episode ops if we have to. So here we go, the discounted template pool, that's all I can afford. It's, it's kind of refreshing to play a whole month of full time across without spending actual money on the store this time round. It's been a while, considering that how many months I've been actually paying cash for this game. Okay, so no Valkyrie animations, but still. Alright, we still get our red box. Two red boxes, so that's still a decent minimum. Okay, let's move things along. There we go. More costume points. Oh, is that a lag? Okay, it's an old episode plate, still featuring the lane. Oh, look at that sad face. Oh, Gumlin. That's not too bad. Okay, liking how most of these episode plates are all Macross 7. Oh, is this a new plate? Apparently it isn't. But at least we still get to fully evolve the costume point episode plate. So it still saves us a bit of 
episode ops some way. So yeah, it's a bummer that this episode didn't end as fantastic as Basara's video, but you know, there's always a way to set off this unbalance. And that's by pulling the guaranteed 5 star gacha. I don't have enough tickets for the Super Dimension gacha yet, so let's put off on that. So let's see, what kind of nice 5 star episode plate this gacha will give me this time round. There's a whole list of 5 stars here. So it's just whether we will hit the jackpot with something nice. Alright, so we get a full 5 Valkyrie animations with the golden orb. There we go, instant rainbow. We don't get to see the diva pop out. Ooh, Minmei! Okay, so I'm I'm sure I don't have this episode played. Yeah. Oh wow! It even gave me points to unlock Minmei's costume as well. Oh, that's nice. So one more costume under the bag. All right, let's see. So no special notes attached to this plate for Minmei, but it is definitely um, one of those episode plates that gives you a better score, even if you hit a good or miss. But and also, of course, if you do get a perfect or ex excellent, um, you get a better boost in score as well. So a pretty decent plate, um, but of course, definitely one just for keeps. You don't really want to have too many of these kind of episode plates because it's kind of redundant of equipping like the whole team of divas with episode plates of this kind of ability. It's just really pointless. <laughs> Anyways, you just need one of these kind of episode plates in your setup and you're good to go. I'm pretty okay considering that we managed to get Points for Melane's brand new costume. Min Mei's got a new plate, and I managed to unlock her school uniform at least. So that's that's pretty good progress in my books. Uh, even though we didn't hit the episode plate that's featured in Melane's gacha, but like I said, it's not actually kind of a good thing if you do end up hitting the plate. <laughs> I mean, it does give you the bonus points for the current event, but um, uh, I don't know. It, I wouldn't use it in the setup as well unless you're really trying to improve mid lane stats in the Diva Improvement event right now. But mainly for versatile use, it's not an episode plate to, you know, kind of look forward for. Anyways, that's about it guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed yourself for the month of May in Utahama Cross. And of course, enjoy watching all the videos I've put up. It is not the end of the game, it's still ongoing, my cross will not die, or rather my cross got tomorrow now, you cannot stop my cross. <laughs> I think that would still sound better instead of my cross will not die, because uh, even so a franchise might end someday, uh, you know, when some unfortunate things happen. But anyways, let's not hope for the worst, we are always welcome for more content from the Macross universe, more music, more Valkyries, more battles, more love triangles, and whatever that is within the Macross formula. And I'll see you guys in the next Uta Macross video. Until then, make sure you do all the wonderful stuff, like, subscribe, share. Bye!